Hey guys, official Phone Rebel here, and I know it's been a while, but I will be posting more to my official Phone Rebel channel, seeing how that there is not much to post about on my Everything Apple Pro channel. And in this video, I will be showing you guys how to root your Samsung Galaxy S3 on Verizon on the latest Jellybean 4.1.1 firmware. Now this will not work on any other carriers, this is just focused on the Verizon i535 variant because it is more difficult to root than the other carriers on the latest firmware. I will have a video up for the other carriers soon, however this video is just for the Verizon Samsung Galaxy S3 on the latest 4.1.1 Jelly Bean software. And on your desktop you guys will need to download several things, for me I put them all into one root folder, but primarily you guys will need your super user and bootloader fixed zip file, you will need two boot chain files and the clockwork recovery mod .md5 file. The two optional ones are your Samsung USB drivers, if you have those installed you do not need to download that, and Odin, which most of you guys will not have so you will need to download it anyways, version 3.0.7. So once you guys have all of that downloaded, and make sure you guys do not separate Odin from these three files, otherwise it will not work. You want to keep it all in one folder. Anyways, once you guys do have all of these files downloaded, go ahead and plug in your device and access the internal memory. See, you guys will need to go ahead and copy this file right here, the super su bootloader fixed.zip. You will need to copy it into either your card or your phone internal memory. So once that's copied, go ahead and open up Odin. Now the first thing you guys are going to want to do is go ahead and place your device into download mode and go ahead and power off your Samsung Galaxy S3 with the phone off and unplugged from the computer go ahead and hold the volume down, the home and the power button all at the same time and keep holding them until you do see that your phone has entered download mode. It'll look just like this, you want to select volume up to continue and you'll get this icon. Now go ahead and plug in your Samsung Galaxy S3. Now in Odin you want to make sure auto reboot is selected. Go to PDA, we're going to go into the folder where all of our files are and we're going to select the vralec.bootchain.tar.md5 file. Select open and select start. This will go ahead and flash that boot chain onto your Samsung Galaxy S3 and once it restarts I'll be right back. Now we're going to do the same thing once more, unplug your device, go ahead and power it off and enter download mode once again. With your device in download mode once again and plugged in, in Odin, you guys want to go ahead and uncheck auto reboot, go to PDA and we're going to flash CWM, so the clockwork recovery mod, go ahead and select open and start. Now this isn't limited to CWM, you guys can use Team Win Recovery as well, and I'll have a link for that down below in the description as well. And all of the files I am using here, you can find all of them down below in the description. There will be a link to my website where you can find all of the links you need there. After the clockwork recovery is flashed, you'll see that reset icon right there, so go ahead and pull the battery off of your Galaxy S3, and then we're going to go ahead and hold the volume up, the home, and the power all together, and keep holding it for a good amount of time until you do see the blue text in the upper left, you'll see that right there, and the Samsung will reboot on its own, this may take several tries guys, it's okay, you may even need to reflash or repeat the steps from the beginning as I had to, but for most of you it should work from the first time. Now I just want to address an issue real quick where some of you cannot boot up into Clockwork Mod Recovery and to fix that what you guys want to do is go ahead and hold the volume up, the home and the power button all at the same time. Once you do feel that your phone vibrates, let go of the power button and keep holding the volume up and home and keep holding it until you do see that you are at the Clockwork Mod. So I'm just holding those two buttons right now. Your phone will turn off and then turn right back on and there you go. So that's how you get into Clockwork Mod for those of you that cannot. And from here you guys want to go ahead and select install zip from SD card and choose zip from external or choose zip from SD card and I'm gonna go ahead and select from SD card that's basically your internal storage. It's gonna go down and until you do see super su bootloader fixed.zip go ahead and select the power button and select yes. Now this will go ahead and root your device and unlock the bootloader. Once that's done, you want to go back and reboot system now. Now go ahead and pull the battery. You don't need your device to fully reboot. 
and put it back in. We're going to go ahead and put it into download mode one last time. So volume down, home, and the power button all at the same time. And then select volume up, plug in the USB cable, and we're going to go back into Odin. Now what you guys want is a fresh copy open, so if you have an old copy open, go ahead and close it and open up a new one. Now you want to select PDA and the VRBLK3 bootchain.tar.md5 file, go ahead and select open and start. This will basically leave your device at factory, completely stock Jelly Bean, but it will be rooted. And once it's done, your device will reboot and you guys will be fully rooted. Now once your Galaxy is back up and running, go ahead and go into your apps scroll over and you guys do now have super su you're now fully rooted on jellybean 4.1.1 on your verizon samsung galaxy s3 so that's how you do it guys not that difficult but you guys may have some trouble if you have any comments any questions leave them down below in the description i will try to get back to you anyone else please like this video it does help me tremendously and subscribe for many more to come i will make sure to be uploading many more videos around samsung devices the nexus devices some tablets so stay tuned for all of that anyways enjoy your rooted device guys have a great day peace